I think for I think for juniors, I mean, I would highly recommend juniors, people just start, well, honestly, I highly reckon, recommend anyone to, to join a user group, whether it's virtual or in person. But for juniors, I think there's a huge gap. And, and my colleague Helen's done a presentation about this, actually. There's a gap between what you learn at university or in boot camp versus what you actually need to do in your job. Um, yeah. And when we were in the London Java community, so Barry, who was running the London Java community, was also running the graduate developer community. Um, and there was, obviously, it was a good thing, a lot of bleed between, the, well, mostly from the, the graduates to the London Java community, because the graduates were like, what do I really need to know to, to get a job? What's it really like to, to work in the industry? Do I need to learn, um, you know, do I need to learn the solid principles? And you'd be like, no, you need to learn Git right you know the, the, it's a very different set of set of things that you're going to need to learn and and again one of the things that one of the things a lot of the graduates ask is they 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 come out of university or the boot camp or whatever and they just see how huge the the ecosystem is like even if it's just java or just the jvm mm -hmm. but like if you expand it to web and all the rest of it it's like there's so many frameworks so many technologies so many things to learn and as soon as you get on on track with one then that becomes out of fashion and something else comes and then docker comes and kubernetes and and it's not just in that about languages it's about infrastructure and like we said communication skills and architecture and it's enormously overwhelming uh, and you feel like you feel like you just got a handle on on the stuff you needed to, to pass whatever you needed to pass and now you've had your eyes opened to wow I don't know anything and there's no way I'm going to be able to learn any of this stuff let alone all of it but coming to a user group I think and speaking to people they're like no I'm not using Kubernetes and Docker I'm doing Java but only this bit of Java and it's really important that you know these four git commands but the rest of it doesn't matter you know, mm -hmm. and, and getting a sense of what's really important. It's a bit like learning a new natural language. Like I've been trying to learn Spanish obviously for like six years, uh, more, more than that, we moved here eight years ago. And I'm not fluent in Spanish, but I definitely, I can order a cup of coffee. I can get a taxi to take me somewhere. You know, I can do those core things and then you build around that. It's the same thing with technology. You don't need to know all of Docker and all of, I don't know, Scala or whatever it is. You just need to know you need to know which bits you need to know and, and going to a user group will give you a much better sense of like what's really important and, and what's not important. I also think, and this is something I've been really trying to, to do with my work as a developer advocate, it's really important for senior people who are experienced with lots of years in the industry to say, I don't know about. Right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things I don't know about. I have done JavaScript in the past. I have been a web developer in the past. I don't know the JavaScript frameworks right now. And and I'm fine with that. If I end up working in a, in a team where I need to know that, like we're talking about learning, I know that I can learn that, but I'll learn it when I learn it. I'm not going to learn every single JavaScript framework now, just in case I need one of them later on. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. You know, and the I, same I, with Docker. I, 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 don't, I don't think that we as an industry do a very good job of defining what the ground rules are. The, 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 the kinds of, the, 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 you know, what are the things that allow you know, you and I that, that have some ex people that have some experience to be able to judge how much we have to learn about a particular technology or a particular practice or stuff. What, what are the things that allow us to, to pick and choose, you know, and steer our learning? Because there is too much to learn. There's, there, is, there is almost zero value in you learning the entire command set of Git or, right. or you know every, every last attribute of I, I don't know um, React JS or whatever. I, I don't care. I'm I, 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 I'm a reduced instruction set programmer. I, I, there's right. lots and lots of stuff that I don't know and I don't care about. And it seems to me that part of the skill uh, and the experience, the, the benefit of experience, is to be able to more quickly and more accurately choose the things that are worth you know that you need in order to be able to achieve some outcome that that's kind of a i'm sorry i'm advertising my book but but that's kind of the sort of stuff that was in the back of my mind when i started writing my book was to try and figure out what those sorts of things were that you could look for to try and steer you through that course because i don't think that there's i think that's a difficult problem as one you you you, you, you one of the things that you said just then resonated with me i did um i did a video quite a long time ago now on my YouTube channel that, that was focused specifically at junior developers and giving them some advice. And one of those was, you know, 
nobody knows everything and you know the starts you know and it's it, it, ignorance is not a problem that's just a fact of life for software developers in their career and that was the one that landed most i got loads and loads of comments from people relatively new in their career so, oh i've never heard anybody say that that's a great thing to you know we could because i don't know i don't know why that doesn't you that doesn't see, translate, but it's, it seems obvious to you, you and I at our stage in our career, because we're, we're used to know, knowing that we know nothing, you know, yes. <laughs> almost, I, and dealing with what, it. I think what we see when we, when we go to conferences or when we look at videos or when we read books, what we see is someone with experience giving their very well thought out, very well planned experience on that thing they know really well. Yeah. And you're like, oh my goodness, this person, he, he, because usually he, it's not always a he, <laughs> it, this person, he really knows what he's talking about. And like, I don't really, I'll never be that good. But of course, what that person doesn't say is, okay, I know all about Java, um, but yeah. I don't know anything about Git or, or yeah. like we say, I don't know anything about JavaScript or I've never, I've only worked in client server. I've never worked in microservices, whatever, it, you know, and, and I think that's what, one of the things I've been trying to normalize with some of the advocacy I've been doing is, you know, one of the reasons I do live demos on stage is because it will go wrong and be like okay pair with me tell me what you think this is that's going yeah. wrong what have I done and it's always something different you know you can't predict that sort of thing and I really yeah. want to normalize like we had with a pair programming experience you don't know what you're doing half the time and things go wrong and yeah. if you work together you you can find a solution as opposed to this this attitude that we sometimes see in our in our industry of ha ha you don't know what you're doing I'm better than you like I yeah. don't care like, yeah. I don't care if you're better than me. Like, you're better than me at something, and I'm better than yeah. you at something else. And that's, yeah. it's not a zero well, that's, sum game. That's, yeah, that's, that, that's, that, that's what it's, it's one of the things that I like so much about pairing uh, is that everybody's better than everybody else at something. And I want to learn the things that you're, I want to learn from you, the things that you can teach me. And, I, you know, in, in, in payments, I will, I will try and teach you the things that, the things that, that I know. And, and that's one of the so benefits. Well. That's what worked so well in our team, I think, because yeah. we were a team of, um, you know, we had, we came from different places. We we worked in, we had worked in different parts, parts of the industry. Some of us geographically different places, and we all came and we all we all learned the good bits from everybody. Nobody dragged anyone down. The yeah. juniors asked amazing questions. Like I yeah. remember the first few times the juniors would ask me. So I had what ten years experience, mm -hmm. and the juniors would say, "Why are you doing it this way?" And as soon as you find yourself answering, because I always have done it that way. You're like, hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you get challenged to think things through and yeah. then working with people like um, people like Amir and yourself who knew IntelliJ Idea really well, like, oh, wow, I should really learn how to do these things. And we all mm -hmm. leveled up. No one dragged anyone down. There's no yeah. slowing each other down. It's, it's just, yeah, we all learn off each other.